Which would you say is the best combination? Light mouse with speed pad? Light mouse with control pad? Heavy mouse with speed pad? Or heavy mouse with control pad? I've been testing a lot of mouse pads, plus the ones I normally use. So about 20 total. And I decided to find out what works best for me. Now I could show you the accuracy scores with each pad and mouse, but numbers change all the time. It depends on who you play, how you're playing, your connection, lots of factors. We can hit better accuracy against people who don't dodge, or when players are having bad days in games. That's something I keep in mind for my reviews. Over 20 years in Quake means I've tried a lot of stuff, and because Quake is a stale game, it's the same people over and over. I know how good everyone is, and I know when they're having good or bad days, and I know when I'm just not playing well. What does that mean? Well, the problem with testing products is the amount of variables. How can you actually tell if you're aiming better with a certain mouse, or just having a good day, or you're playing weaker opponents? Aim Trainers doesn't really give you the same sort of pressure, so I haven't found that's reliable for actually testing your aim. There's something about playing against other people, especially when they're just as good as you, if not better, that really pushes you to your limit. And if you're playing a game where you're playing new people every time, it's almost impossible to know, and a lot of games don't really push your aim in the way that Quake does. Clan Arena is a battle-focused mode, and that's what I test products in. We start with all weapons, full health, in rounds, and see who aims and dodges best. And with all that testing on all these pads, I narrowed down my choices to four. Then down to two. Then to this final one. I wasn't even thinking about the surface. I was just choosing which pad I played best on. And I was switching pads all the time to make sure it wasn't placebo. Remember, these pads were just randoms. No bias at all. My job was to find out which one I played best on. And this is it. The Extrify GPZ-1 Zai's Damage. I named it that because I kept getting heaps of damage with it. My aim was definitely better on this pad than all the others. But after I chose this material, that Extra 5 now made into a pad, I started thinking, why did I choose it? What's so good about it? Honestly, I don't know exactly, but if I had to guess, it's because it seems like it's a speed and control pad in one, without being a hybrid. It's more on the control side, but the control is really good on small movements, while still allowing you to move the mouse freely when doing bigger swipes. I relate it to kind of like having mouse excel in pad form. So it's a control pad, but it becomes a speed pad if you move it quickly. Anyway, before this becomes a complete advert for the GPZ-1, although this does count as my video for the pad, hitting two enemies with one rail here, let's go back on point. Light or heavy mouse, control or speed pad. My answer would be control pad with a light mouse. Think of it this way. Without going into the laws of physics again, if you have a heavy mouse, that means you're picking up more weight, and that means requiring more energy. Surprisingly, I actually feel a bit more fatigued now when I use a heavy mouse, because I know compared to a light mouse, I should be feeling a bit freer. And in my opinion, you're going to be less accurate when you're putting the mouse down as well, because the more weight... Yeah, this is the laws of physics. Check out the final mouse video if you want my explanation. But if you're playing with a low sensitivity, or you're flicking the mouse a lot, a light mouse should definitely help you there too. But what about on the pad? It still takes less to move, so wouldn't it be best to have a speed pad as well? The less friction, the better, right? I've tried that, and somehow I just don't seem to aim better. Maybe you do, I don't know. And maybe it's a matter of having a balance of friction and freedom to help you stop the movement and start the movement. A heavy mouse isn't good in my opinion because it takes too much energy to move and stop, and to pick up and put down. Even though it's only a tiny bit of energy, you want to rely on your muscles as little as possible in that regard. But you still need some force to help you keep control of your movements. And maybe that's what the pad is meant to do. It's there to keep your sensor tracking smoothly, and your aim easy to start moving, and easy to stop moving. So a control pad would usually only give you that stopping power, but you'd need more starting power. And the light mouse gives you the freedom to move, and obviously the weight of the mouse is going to factor in, and the light mouse is obviously going to help that. But that's why I like the material on the GPZ-1, because it only seems to have that really hard starting power when you're moving the mouse really slowly. So yeah, it's easy to move the mouse fast if you want to, and it's easy to stop the mouse when you want to as well. I mean, I don't know for sure, I am just kind of guessing. This is my experience so far, and I'm sure that will change in the future as I learn more about this. So yeah, I'm very happy with the Extrify MZ1 mouse, with the Extrify GPZ1 pad. My mouse and my pad. And before someone claims bias, no, it's preference. I designed a shape that would suit me and help me aim, and I chose the fabric that actually helped me aim best with it. So yeah, that's easily the best combo for me. But what's the best combination for you? And what's the best combination going to be in the future? We'll have to wait and see. For now, everyone that's tested the Extrify GPZ1 has loved it. So if you do manage to get one, I would love to hear what you think. 
and your experience with it. Please have patience with the sales, they'll work to get more stock, but everything is harder to get these days. And of course it won't be for everyone, you might have a completely different preference to what I have, but I still think it's another step in the quest for the best aim. And speaking of what we prefer, leave a comment below, what's your favourite combination right now? And why do you think it is the best? And you can answer the initial question too. Speed pad with light or heavy mouse? Or control pad with light or heavy mouse? Hope that helps at least get the conversation started. Thanks for watching, usual links below. Definitely check out the Extrify MZ1 and the Extrify GPC1. Zyze damage. Subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.